In this presentation, we will continue with our costing based COPA configurations. In our earlier presentation, we have defined the operating concern with the relevant characteristics and value fields. Now let's move on to the next configuration, define profitability segment characteristics. The short transaction code is KEQ3. Now use this transaction to define the profitability segments. These are where you post your revenue and expense line items and profitability segments can be a combination of two or more characteristics. For example, it can be a combination of a product and a customer or an industry and a country. Or you can have industry, country and product and customer and so on. So you define the system which are the characteristics that you want to include in your profitability segment. It's always important that you don't include too much, just limit to a certain number of fields only because more you include, the more the system will consume the database for memory. So hence it's always best to limit which are the ones that you want to input during the time of postings. So let's execute the transaction. And it'll bring you to this screen. So define your operating concern and mention as costing based. Press OK to continue. And you can see the screen is coming up over here. You can see by default many are not used and product and customer is yes, something which we want to use at planning level and also even to input during entries. So we'll select that. Now you can also select which one needs to be in costing based, which one needs to be account based and costing based. This The third tab means that account based and costing based. Now better you can always include both here as well. And you can see there's so many other fields also by default is included. If you do not want to have reporting based on this, you can just simply put it on to not included. So for example, I might not want some certain characteristics. Uh, product and custom I would want. Customer group maybe, country also maybe, region maybe. But division I do not want, so I can simply select division not required. Similarly sales org and distribution also, I can say I do not want to do it and same way as plant so which means I'm not going to do any planning or any input entries for line item level for this particular set of characteristics. I would however need it for region, country, uh, controlling area by default it will come so that's why it's grayed out. The ones in white only which you can choose whether you want to use it or not. Customer group of course is an important field and we can see product and customer is also there. Even some of these items also you can pull in, but I recommend that just leave it with the default settings as it is. Then save the transaction. Press OK to continue. Next, you can set the operating concern. The short transaction code is KEBD. Now this is not a configuration transaction code. It can even be used as a transaction code also the standard SAP user transaction code KEBD. So this what will help you to do is to set the operating concern. So every time when you do the COPA transactions, you do not have to specify what is your operating concern. It is similar to the set controlling area transaction as well. So let's set the operating concern. Let's execute this. Put in operating concern and you can specify whether you want it to be at costing based or account based. I'll keep it at costing based for now and just press OK to continue. So this will set the operating concern to ZM00. So every time you do not have to specify what is your operating concern. Next, we we'll look at characteristic values. This is coming out of the master data section of the profitability analysis. Now for characteristics values is only need to be defined if you have specified any custom characteristics, which starts with the WW. If you're using the standard characteristics in the system, you do not have to specify the characteristic values. For example, if you're using the standard characteristics country, then the system already has all the list of countries in the system. So you do not have to specify what are the values, the characteristics values for those specific characteristic. However, if you have created a new characteristics, let's say called continent, then the system does not have a standard characteristic called continent. Then you need to specify which country is coming under the particular characteristic called continent. So if you have created a continent characteristic, then inside that you have to go and maintain the characteristics values. For example, you can specify the continent values as Africa, Asia, Europe, Australasia, North America and South America. So you can specify that separately. Let me quickly show you. If you want to maintain the characteristic values, simply go on here, 